pre-trip prep, let's talk about it. Okay, so I'm starting with the day before and the day before you want to go ahead and pack your bags. Now I'm gonna be honest, I do a lot of times do this the day that I'm traveling, depends how early my flight is. If it's an early flight, definitely doing it the day before. Make sure that your suitcase has an air tag in it. Just, just really helps if it gets lost and make sure it's identifiable. I typically travel with my away suitcase and so does half of the other plane. So I now have a specific identifiable thing on there. So you know that it's fine. You can check in for your flight online or through the airline app 24 hours before your flight. If you're on Southwest, this is very, very important because this is what determines your boarding group. For everyone else, it's still kind of good to go ahead and just do it at that 24 hour mark. You can usually select your seat. You can um, go ahead and pay for a checked bag if you're checking a bag, which you should know because you've already packed your bags. And you'll go ahead and get your mobile boarding pass. And I get this question a lot about if you are doing carry-on, do you have to go to the airline desk? And the answer is no. You can skip the airline desk, you can skip the kiosk, all of that stuff. If you check in online, get a mobile boarding pass and you're doing carry-on only, you can go straight to security when you get to the airport. Speaking of getting to the airport, you need to figure out how you're getting to the airport and what time you need to leave to get there to get there at what time you need to get there. So this is like the most math you're gonna have to do. A lot of times when I'm going to the DFW airport, I take the train, so I have to look at the train schedule and then kind of figure out what time it's gonna get there and things like that. Um, also, if you're at a really busy airport, you might need to leave more time for security. If you're at a smaller airport, maybe less time for security, traffic, things like that. All of that needs to be figured out. If someone needs to take you to the airport, you need to contact that person and be like, hey, remember you're taking me to the airport. This is what time we need to leave. Things like that. Next, pack your passport. If this is an international trip, just go ahead and pack your passport. Don't put it in your brain of like, oh, I'll grab that tomorrow or I need to get that out of the safe or whatever it is. Uh-uh, go get it. Go get it and put it in your carry-on bag. You do not want to forget it. You also want to go ahead and take screenshots of your itinerary, hotel information, anything like that. I've talked about this in a different video, but in case you don't have internet or service or something, whenever you land, make sure you've taken pictures of all the really important information also, a lot of times on the plane on international flights, you have to fill out like a landing card and you need to know the address of the destination you're going to, your hotel, Airbnb, whatever. Um, and so it's really good to have that just as a picture on your phone. And also just charge all the things, your AirPods, your watch, your computer, your phone, or backup power bank so they can continue to charge all the things throughout the day. Just make sure it's all charged. We get to travel day. Number one, do you have your passport? Do not forget your passport if you're taking an international flight. If you're taking a domestic flight uh, in the US, you just need your ID. Also travel day, don't be late. You've already decided what time you needed to get to the airport and all that stuff. Stick to it, stick to that schedule, don't be late. Number three on travel day, bring snacks. Airport food is so expensive and it doesn't even really taste that good if we're being honest. And plain food also does not taste that great. <laughs> Although I eat the meals they provide me on international flights, it's not great. Also, I get really bad motion sickness, yes, even on planes, and I found that having snacks or just having food with me helps kind of curl tell that. No, bring snacks, it's just nice to like have food when you're hungry. And the last thing on the travel day, I did start this during COVID, but I've kind of continued with it, but I like to bring bring wipes, and I wipe down like an armrest, my tray table, I like to sit by the window, so I like to, you know, wipe down the side because I like to lean on the window to sleep, things like that. Um, this is just something I've added in the last couple years and it just makes me feel a little bit better about walking on and like sitting in my seat on the plane. I take a screenshot. Pretty much my travel prep list. It's possible there's something on here that I'm forgetting, but this these are the main things. These are the things that kind of help me make sure that my life is together before I get on a flight.